This season though, coming back to Terraria, I didn't want to go overboard with mods. So we have a lot of good quality of life mods. So in my opinion, what makes a really good mod pack is obviously depending on what you're looking for. But let's say you want a really good chill, chill mod pack, right? All you need is some good quality of life mods that just make vanilla Terraria way better without adding too many crazy things such as auto trash i can't believe there's no auto trash mod and you know that you know how that works right like all you have to do is put a wooden arrow in your auto this is your trash this is the auto trash you throw it and then it automatically goes in here you don't have to worry about it ever again wing slot is nice a little cheaty it is a little cheaty but what do we play multiplayer world servers you know do not get hit more than four times an expert from Calamita. Is that instant kill? Instant death? And uh, it's just a lot of things that just, you know, quality of life. There's the expedition mod, which, I, oh my god. The expedition mod, I think, really just needs to be in Terraria fully. If you haven't heard about that one, it's one that adds in a lot of real quests given from NPCs to give players a sense of direction of where to go, teaches you some stuff, and gives you some items. And it adds a, like some really cool sprites and NPCs. I think Expedition is so cool, and I would love to see that implemented. Actually, that's so good. Um, what else do we have that's like a perfect for like any mod player, right? One, another one would be Fargo's Mutant Mod. How can you play without that? Oh my God, it's the mod that gives you the mutant NPC, and depending on which mod you have, or just all your vanilla stuff. It will, when you kill a boss, you kill King Slime, you kill Queen V, you're able to purchase the item from the boss at a very high gold rate. So it's kind of fair, but the only thing it does is pretty much it slows down a lot of the grind. But you're still using some sort of exchange for it. So I think it's pretty fair. And it also has another NPC, which gives you events. So you finish a Blood Knight, ooh, you can buy that as well. Summon all you want. Potion Master is really good. Also adds an NPC that only after Oh, is that how it works? Potion Master mod? Back, like, I, b before I used, I don't remember what it's called. It might have been the Alchemist mod or something like that. But it summoned the NPC, and then it just sold every freaking potion in the game. And I was like, that's stupid. That's so cheap. I don't want to use this mod anymore. But the one you are talking about sounds really good, where you actually build upon by getting potions. Oh my god, I have to try that one. That one sounds really good. Yeah, I like that one a lot. There's a boss cursor mod, which makes it so just like around your character is a cursor and pointing towards the boss. So that one's okay. Boss HP bar is a good one too. Um, there's one I used in the past. A lot of people always ask about on YouTube videos where it's, uh, it's called the unleveled mod. The unleveled mod changes your UI, so this can turn into like Zelda old school looking hearts or Kingdom Hearts bar. Same for your mana, so that's a cool one. Boss checklist, big one, big one, big one. It's really good, but it sucks if your mod, like if you're trying out a new mod and it's not, um, what's the what's I'm looking for? It's not implemented. Ooh, that kind of sucks. But for the most part, it gives you a really good goal. Like what I'm doing right now is going through one by one. And I'm not skipping anything. Like, it took us forever to do the Old Ones Army. Because we didn't have, like, good items. Which we could have got from other bosses. But we're doing that. So, yeah, that one. Yeah, almost without Fargo's Wands, you can't. And, boom. How can you not have this quality of life mod? Crafting recipe. Or, what is it? What's it called? Cheat recipe? Recipes? Dude, you cannot you cannot even with vanilla terraria which has a million things you gotta have that no more using wikipedia no more talking to the guide uh -huh. yes dude come on fargo is really good though there's like a lot of must-haves most definitely must-haves but or excavator is good too we're using it right now it's called a vein miner i believe so that's another quality of life mod. Ones that don't add too much content, but just makes it good for you. What else? What else is like really good vanilla Terraria experience? I think various weathers is fun too. It just adds in a couple of additions. Um, pretty much most of the mods I'm using now is like good quality of life ones. I, I think so. There's tons. There's so many good ones. 
I should definitely make a YouTube video talking about the best mods for a vanilla place. <laughs> but that was a make sense, does it? The best mods for a vanilla place. Oh boy, what does Mobby got for us today? Sick, dude. Sick. Mm -hmm. But most definitely my favorite mod of all time is Thorium. It is the most balanced. It's fun. It feels like everything is just in Terraria. And they added new classes. Rating class, healing class, you know, all that good stuff. Oh, so good. Enigma. I, I, I remember using that mod, but I don't remember much of it. Probably because I used it when I had a big pack and then it kind of got lost in the mix. So I think definitely if you want to have fun and appreciate large content mods, you're going to have to not mix it up with a bunch of other ones. Otherwise, you're like, why would I use this from this mod when this mod's better? And then you miss out. So I think for the future, that's what I'm probably going to do is maybe use one or two content mods to go from there. Extra large world mod. Oh my god, what the extra large world? I never mess with that. There's a lot of good stuff. There's a lot of good stuff. I just wish, I just hope they keep like, you know, doing more Terraria stuff. Mostly, mostly. Okay, so we're looking for the bee queen. Ow. The freaking beetle. My 50th piranha. My 50th piranha. Nice. When did 